statement that I heard recently. Crime has become normalized in St. Lucia. The words of a resident of Viewfort, who made that statement while describing and discussing the crime situation as obtained, especially in his hometown of Viewfort, and the number of homicides that we are experiencing in over the last two years in particular, and what we have seen in the first quarter of, of this year. I heard the statement, I was jolted by the statement, but it really was driven home when I saw footages of the last homicide, well, last that I know of, and we have to be very careful now as we speak, we don't know how, how the figures have been affected, but it's my information that we are up to 30 homicides now in this country, a startling figure in less than four months, and we are seeing footages of the last homicide, number 30, and of course that's official figures. And I was amazed to see how calm, how nonchalant, how undisturbed residents of the community who were sitting across the road from the dead body were, including children. But what do you expect when you have a government that is totally indifferent about the crime escalation that we are experiencing in this country? When last have you heard any strong definitive statement from a government official on this crisis that St. Lucia is facing? It is a crisis. Things are out of hand. The criminals have taken control. But it doesn't seem to be alarming to the government. It doesn't seem to affect them. It doesn't seem to, to stimulate them to take any action, any decisive action, to prevent and avert the occurrence of crime that has become all too often. Every morning, the question is, any other dies, died? Anybody else was killed? If the answer is yes, we will just move on as if it is normal, as if it is, you know. I mean, we have to ask ourselves, what kind of country are we leading right now? What kind of situation are we degenerating into? Is it going to have to become a country that is chaotic? that is a failed state before our government, the people who are responsible for the conduct of the affairs of this country, the people who are responsible for our safety and security, take heed and acknowledge what is happening. It cannot be business as usual when we have a situation such as this. And that brings to mind the announcement by the government that St. Lucia is soon to host an international event, that is Cricket World Cup. Of course, we welcome any such event with the economic benefits that it brings, with the attention that it brings to our country, and the visitors who will come to St. Lucia, and we are hoping that out of events such as this, not only will we have the economic benefit, but we will be profiled positively in the to the international world. My fear is, given the current situation as it exists today, do we want to put the international spotlight on St. Lucia and for us to have a major disaster like what transpired Independence last year, like what transpired Easter last year, like what transpired a few weekends ago? That can be so deleterious to the efforts that we have been making in terms of our advertisement, our marketing for tourism. What if a visitor is caught in the crossfire of what is taking place in St. Lucia today. I ask those questions because those are pertinent, relevant questions. It is not far-fetched. I ask those questions because today, it appears that our police are so stretched that they cannot deal with curbing the crime situation that exists now. What happens when we will have to divert police resources to this international event? What happens in terms of manning the streets and communities of St. Lucia. Are we ready for the possible consequences of hosting an international event at this time? Our government must give us the comfort by telling us what measures are going to be put in place, what measures are going to be taken, because I'm saying now, we must take into consideration the potential disaster that can come out of the situation if we are not fully prepared and equipped to host. 
and I'm talking about you know, the, the aspect of security. St. Lucians must take this seriously because the criminals, under normal circumstances, are having their way. They will be mindful that our police attention is diverted during the event, and God knows what will happen then. Or is it, as the gentleman from Viewfort, the resident of Viewfort, stated, that crime has become so normalized that it does not matter?